السلام علیکم گائز لاسٹ ٹائم وی ڈسکسڈ دا ایپلیکیشن آف ونڈ لوڈنگ ان سیپ ماڈل ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈیفائن سم نیو لوڈ کمبینیشنز وچ ول آلسو ہیو دا ونڈ لوڈ کیسز اف وی گو ٹو دا ڈیفائن ٹیب اینڈ کلک آن لوڈ کمبینیشنز وی کین سی دا فور لوڈ کمبینیشنز وچ ور آلریڈی ڈیفائنڈ اف آئی کلک آن ماڈیفائی شو دیز کمبینیشنز آر اونلی کنسڈرنگ دا گریوٹی لوڈ کیسز وچ از دا ڈیڈ اینڈ دا لائیو لوڈ سو لیٹ اس ڈیلیٹ دیز کمبینیشنز سلیکٹ آل آف دیم پریس ڈیلیٹ کلک آن اوکے اینڈ دین اگین گو ٹو ڈیفائن ٹیب کلک آن لوڈ کمبینیشنز ناؤ وی کین ایڈ دا ڈیفالٹ ڈیزائن لوڈ کمبینیشنز آف یورو کوڈ بائی پریسنگ دس آپشن ایڈ ڈیفالٹ ڈیزائن کمبوز now we can check this steel frame design option you can also set uh, or you can see the set load combination options now we can see that it has considered the dead load live load and four wind load cases now click on ok then again ok uh, now it has uh, defined all these combinations which are having the wind load cases uh, considered if i click one of them uh, modify show combo uh, we can clearly see the dead load and live load and also the wind load case which is uh, wind load x having a scale factor as per euro code so click on okay now one issue here is that it is also considering uh, the cases which are having negative scale factors in them we do not need these negative scale factors the reason for it is that we have let's say we have cons- we are considering the wind load in x direction or wind load in y direction Uh, now wind positive wind load in y direction was actually the windward load in on this face whereas it was the leeward uh, load or the uh, leeward wind pressure on the uh, face opposite to this one but what the negative sign does it actually reverses the uh, loading direction so if i am considering my wind load in y direction the negative sign will automatically reverse the direction and the wind will be applied in the opposite direction we need to delete all these load combinations which are having the negative values in them i'm only i'm i'm only doing this because we have up considered and calculated all the loading manually so we need to delete all these combinations which are having the negative sign in them Uh, now there are two ways to do that uh, the first is you can just click on these combinations one by one then check the combinations which are having negative sign and then click on this delete combo now uh, this uh, let us just check this option it uh, udstl4 is having negative sign so i'm going to delete this similarly go to the next one now this one is having positive we need to keep it then go to the next and we need to delete this one now here uh, you can see that this process is very time consuming and it will uh, you know consume a lot of time by just opening each combination one by one so there is one better way to do that uh, just click on okay now if you go to the edit tab here we can see this option of interactive database editing we are going to discuss this option in some uh, later lectures in detail inshallah but uh, for now we are just going to quickly go through it and we will see how to edit or delete the load combinations easily so press this option the shortcut is control plus e on your keyboard once you click this option this window will appear in front of you now here you need to go to this load pattern definitions and 
click on response combinations and we can select this table of combination definitions check this option and make sure all the load patterns are selected in uh, this option once you press ok this new window will open in front of you now it is displaying all the load combinations which we have defined earlier we can just uh, export these values to excel through this option which is this button in your window to excel click this option it will automatically uh, open this excel sheet now i can easily see uh, all the combinations which are having the negative sign in them like udstl 8 is having this negative value similarly 10 is having negative and so on so let us uh, select all these combinations one by one i've selected udstl 8 and then i'm going to delete these rows from excel again go to uh, select these and i'm going to press ctrl y on the keyboard to repeat the delete command i'm going to quickly delete all the combinations with negative sign once you have deleted all the combinations which were having negative sign just minimize the excel sheet now i'm going to import this edited excel sheet by pressing this option from excel once you click this option it will automatically import the excel sheet values from there and it will close the excel file now click this apply to model option now SAP has applied all these combinations to the uh, to my SAP model and then click on done. Now if I go to the define tab and click on load combinations. Now I can see my load combinations have reduced and it has deleted all the combinations which were having the negative uh, wind load scale factors. So click on OK now to design the uh, structure as per wind loading go to design tab then steel frame design here we can select this design combinations it has automatically considered all the ultimate load combinations and these two are the service load combinations if i want to see this combination udstl 36 it is having one dead and one live so this is okay i will uncheck this option because my combinations are already defined here so i don't want sap to automatically generate load combinations click on okay and then you can run the analysis and i can design my a steel by pressing this option start design check of structure now the shortcut for designing is shift f5 and if you want to um, display the output values press ctrl shift f5 on your keyboard and here i want to see the utilization ratios click on ok uh, now uh, we can clearly observe that previously these columns and these rafters were designed on the gravity loads only and now we can see the utilization has increased approximately up to 100% in these columns. We can give some new column sections or a little heavier column sections to cater for these wind loads so I'm going to unlock my model and select all my columns and I go to assign tab then go to frame sections 
Now these columns are having cross section of UC203203 by 52. Now I want to import another section. So go to define sections and uh, click on import new property. Then I or wide flange section. Select S275 from the materials. And if I scroll down. I can see this UC203203 by 52 and the next bigger section is 203203 by 60 so let us check this one click on ok ok again ok and now my columns are selected I want to replace these sections with this one so I'll select this and click on apply now my column sections are replaced with the new section uh, press F4 to display the undeformed shape now these beams are also utilized uh, they were approximately 97 percent utilized so we can brace these beams in the minor direction at a couple of locations like I can brace this beam at this point and this point through purlin stay I think I've already discussed the purlin stay with you guys if you do not know what a purlin stay is you can google it and uh, you will then come to know uh, so I can brace at a couple of points in these beams so what I need to do is I can change my unbraced length ratio so select all these beams then go to design steel frame design click on view revise overrides and previously we have defined uh, we have considered no bracing in the minor direction so we will change it to 0.33 because I am bracing it at a couple of locations so it will divide my minor bending into three parts or it will brace it at a couple of points between the length of the rafter click on ok and then again run the analysis then design the uh, structure by pressing shift F5 and if I want to display the output press control shift F5 and click on OK now I can see the utilization ratios have decreased the column is approximately 84% utilized and the rafters are 43% utilized uh, so these sections are OK after considering the uh, wind loading in the load combinations now I hope you have understood the concept of wind loading uh, I've tried my best to explain everything uh, in a simple way the calculation of wind loads then the application of wind loading in SAP model and uh, the further optimization of uh, the columns and drafters in the SAP model uh, so see you all in the next lecture inshallah take care Allah Hafiz